Hello everyone and welcome to a new review slash like tour. I've done a custom mock of a mad scientist lab. As you can see, Monster Scientist is happy that his creations come to life. Some dude made a mistake on creating like a superhero bird. This dude's freaking out because he made a weird looking moth mouse skeleton bird thing. Uh, so we'll do the set first and then we'll get on to the minifigures. So let me just get them all now. And they're all gone. So if you want that noise, that my guinea pig. So let's get to the first thing that you see is a potion. That's like the fly from this minifigure series 14. Some like glasses that I'm going to put heads in very soon. So stay tuned. A bin or like whatever you would call this. Slime on the ground. The switch that makes it come to life. Boop. And you could just make that in a button if you want. Sorry about that. And over here we have like emeralds that I keep it healed. Electric to come make it come to life. That makes it definitely come to life. That's 100%. And then there's like we decorations. So yeah, that's a replica. And here's the table that I made it like him. Made like a wee pillow something. Make it rest. Make him rest. So yeah. Now let's get some minifigures. Now here's the one that comes in the blind bags. Now this is not uh, custom made. This is just a basic figure that is in a blind bag series. I believe it's series 14 Monsters Edition. He does come with this fly potion, but I put it on top of the glass head things just to make it look cooler. Uh, the back printing, he has no back printing, of course, because this figure is very good, though. I highly recommend buying this on eBay. Uh, I didn't get it on eBay, I got a blind bags, and I got a minute, so pretty awesome. So let's get the next minifigure. So here is the second minifigure. This is the, the, this is the second crazy scientist and i've used a couple of bricks for this as you can see i used two faces body i used the gloves for the scientist i used the legs for the scientist i used the alien conquest businessman i believe the figure is called and i used joker's hairpiece to make him extra crazy it's nothing too simple no back printing of course the gloves gloves and the boots so yeah that's pretty simple about him i'll quickly show you his second face so this is his face oh my god it's alive i'm spooked down when this happy one was like can't wait to bring him to life and all. But this one I like a bit better because he's showing his scared face of the his monster, his creation came to life. So yeah, I like this minifigure a lot, but let's get to the next one. Here is the last crazy of them all. Now this one I actually enjoy making. I gave him a cool little heart piece. I don't know what that head is. You just make sure you guys tell me in the comments. Body for the uh, mad scientist. Just basic legs, no back printing, just give them basic uh, hands. No, just basic black hands, no back, no back printing, as you can tell, no second face. I think that hair piece is from the Lego movie Clay Cuckoo Land. It is in a lot, like Bruce, like, ba like Damien Wayne's hair from like the back hair set. So yeah, in a different colour. So yeah, next minifigure. So next mini minifigure is the monster. I know the camera angle is a bit bad, but... Uh, I'm trying to make it a bit good, make it a bit far off, and then make it a wee bit zoom in. There we go. So this is the monster uh, figure, no back printing. I used Killer Moth's head brush from the Mighty, Mi Mighty Micros. I used the monster's uh, body, I used the monster's head, and then black hands, basic brown. Very cool minifigure. This is what it looks like without his head. He just shows his eyes a bit more. So yeah. Next minifigure. The next minifigure is a custom. This is the one that had like I'll show you him in a second. This is the one that he made. This is the thing that he made. Uh, it's like a, he has a. It's like the Chima head with like the Batman's utility belt. Robin's body from Mighty Micros. Just basic red, no back. Well, it actually, has a wee bit of back printing. Just the belt. But this cape's black, and I think this is a Superman cape. So yeah, the next minifigure. So here's the final minifigure out of them all, is the skeleton mouse moth. You guys can call whatever the hell you want in the comments. I used the bone, like, body, just, when these are the Ninjago. I just painted it, like, made it blue to make it, like, he has a DNA blood river. I used uh, Itchy's head from the Simpsons series, series one. Then I gave the, the knockoff killer moth wings, because I think they look pretty cool. So yeah. This was the whole set, uh, really, I mean, my mock, I'll put the figures real quick. So yeah, this is the replica, I really hope you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and tell me what is your favourite minifigure and favourite design on this. So yeah, peace out, bye!